Hello and welcome to our Gospel reading and reflection for the 19th Sunday in Ordinary Time, which comes to you from St Joseph's Church in Southampton, where we welcome seafarers visiting our port. The Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus made the disciples get into the boat and go on ahead to the other side while he would send the crowds away. After sending the crowds away, he went up into the hills by himself to pray. When evening came, he was there alone, while the boat, by now far out on the lake, was battling with a heavy sea, for there was a headwind. In the fourth watch of the night, he went towards them, walking on the lake, and when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified. "'Tis a ghost," they said, and cried out in fear. But at once Jesus called out to them, saying, "'Courage, it is I. Do not be afraid.' It was Peter who answered, "'Lord,' he said, "'if it is you, tell me to come to you across the water.' "'Come,' said Jesus. Then Peter got out of the boat and started walking towards Jesus across the water. But as soon as he felt the force of the wind, he took fright and began to sink. Lord, save me, he cried. Jesus put out his hand at once and held him. Man of little faith, he said, why did you doubt? And as they got into the boat, the wind dropped. The men in the boat bowed down before him and said, Truly, you are the Son of God. The crowds had been fed and sent away, and Jesus had told the disciples to sail to the other side of the lake, where he would meet them later. A storm blew up. The disciples were frightened. Seafarers tell me about the fear of storms that can suddenly swell up from nowhere. No matter how many years of experience they have at sea, the fear is very real. I can easily imagine the fear of the disciples in their fairly small boat, especially when Jesus was absent from them. God is present where we least expect, although it is a hidden, unseen presence not always easy to discover. The Gospel goes on to tell of the return of Jesus walking on the water and of the impulsiveness of Peter who tried to walk towards him. Whatever was in Peter's mind in that moment, he felt a sudden desire to jump from the boat and start walking towards Jesus across the water. That's how we need to learn to walk towards Jesus today in the midst of these unfamiliar times, to meet up with him in the midst of darkness and uncertainty. It's not easy, of course. We too can falter and sink like Peter. But like him, we too can experience that Jesus reaches out and saves us while telling us, you have so little faith. Why do you doubt? As we look at the disciples in the boat, tossed by waves and overcome by a strong wind against them, it's not hard to see the image of today's church, tossed by so many storms, longing for the figure of Jesus to come across the waters or from wherever, restoring calm. Our own voyage has its share of storms too, anxieties, doubts of various kinds. An unexpected happening can destroy our inner peace and even our faith. Many find it hard to stay afloat in bewilderingly changing times, struggling with family and work relationships, painfully insecure in themselves. May Jesus come walking towards us to strengthen our faith as we experience his presence on land or on the water. And now, 
we pray with Charles Stewart, our Southampton Port Chaplain. The Lord is our help and our shield. Filled with confidence, we turn to the Father with our petitions. For the protection and strengthening of the Church, wherever she is persecuted, and that the peace of Christ will bring an end to all violent conflict in the world. For the strengthening of marriage and family life, and for all those preparing for marriage, that the Lord will fill them with virtue and a love that endures all things. For all those who serve our country in the armed forces, that God will bless them and keep them out of harm's way. That those who suffer will experience the redemptive meaning of suffering through friendship with Jesus Christ. For those who are unemployed, that God will keep them from discouragement and enable them to secure good jobs. For the grace to live with greater faith, free from doubt, fear and discouragement. We present all our prayers to Our Lady, Star of the Sea, Great Mother of God and of us all, who knows the innumerable temptations that beset the seafarer. Extend your help to your children who sail the seas and to their families and friends awaiting their safe return. Let us pray. God of glory and power, you sent your Son, Jesus Christ, to redeem us from the waters of chaos and death. Grant us the wisdom and courage to turn to him in prayerful confidence when the forces of sin and destruction threaten our peace and the peace of those around us. We ask in the name of the same, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen.